As mentioned before, object-based modifiers work directly on objects. Modifiers provide an enormously flexible way of working within 3ds Max. There's a wide variety of modifiers that can be assigned to both 2D and 3D geometry for an equally wide range of reasons. Sometimes object-based modifiers can create new geometry. For example, if you're creating a picture that's going to be hanging on a wall in your scene and you need a frame, you can use a sweep modifier applied to a 2D rectangle to create the 3D geometry of the picture frame. Some of the modifiers allow you to simply edit geometry. You will learn how applying a bend modifier can be used to edit the shape of a 3D object. There are some modifiers that can allow you to perform certain editing on materials. Particularly, there is a modifier that allows you to set the material ID of an object. And others help in adjusting map patterns within materials. Several modifiers give you ways of applying patterns to your objects and editing how those patterns are applied. Modifiers, object-based modifiers especially, provide a wide range of useful functions and are a big part of the overall efficiency you can achieve with 3ds Max.